Direct from Foxborough, Massachusetts, the gem of Norfolk County, and taped at the studios of Foxborough Cable Access, it's Foxborough Central. And here's your host, Bob Hickey. And welcome to another fine episode of Foxborough Central. I am Bob Hickey. I am your host. And I want to thank you for taking the time to join with me and my guest as we talk about the people, events, and organizations that make Foxborough the gem of Norfolk County. You know, one of the uh, fun things about life is that you meet interesting people every day if you just you know, allow yourself to have that opportunity. And today I've met a really wonderful person. I hope to introduce her to you. I've met Sasha. Hi. Sasha Greenhouse. Yeah, thank you for I, having me. And did I get the name right? Yeah, you did. Outstanding. Excellent. <laughs> and we're going to go through that a couple times because it's not spelled the way it sounds. So we want to make sure we get it right because she's got a website and an email address and... We want to make sure that we get it right, okay? Yeah, for sure, yeah. So, Sasha, welcome to the show, yeah, and you. you are a professional photographer. Yeah, that's right. Fantastic. And you live here in Foxborough. Yep. You're local. Yep. But you're not a, a typical photographer. You don't work for Owen Mills or for some... You do freelance, and yeah. you work for the community, I guess, is a way of saying it. Yeah, I mean, I have a business here in Foxborough, and then I also work at a fashion studio in Boston, okay. which is three days a week. And the photographer there has kind of been my mentor as I've started to become a photographer. Interesting. So yeah. fashion studio in Boston, what kind of photography do you do there? A lot of commercial work. So we do stuff for like CVS and Living Proof, uh, some stuff for Life is Good, a lot of stuff, commercial stuff for them. Okay. And then your second job, your company, uh, yeah. is here, and it's Sasha Greenhouse yeah. uh, photography. Yeah, that's right. And there I'm kind of doing more wedding photography and family photos, ah. as well as kind of trying to make that a way that I can give back to people as well. So with my photos, I, I have it so that people, when they purchase a shoot, they know they're going to give another shoot to another family. How interesting. Yeah. So let's touch on that. But first, I want to make sure that we get your good information out yeah. there. Uh, people uh, should... Uh, know about Sasha Greenhouse Photography here in Foxborough. Uh, you can get a hold of her, uh, follow her on her website, www.sashagreenhouse.com. And it's spelled on the screen, but it's S-A-S-H-A-G-R-E-E-N-H-A-L-G, -E -E not S-H, right? Yep, that's right. <laughs> dot com. So whenever I say Greenhouse, you'll say G, not S. Yep. Amazing. I got it right. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> it's going to be another 24 minutes in the program, though, so we'll see if I can't screw <laughs> yeah. it up before the end of the program. Also, you can follow her on Facebook. She's also on Instagram at Sasha G Photo, Sasha G Photo, and you can follow her. Or you can uh, send her an email at info at sashagreenhouse.com. And you also have a telephone number yeah. because you're a business and you do this for a living, both yeah. in Boston as well as here. It's 508 446 30 Nine, nine. Now, you say you do mostly weddings, but uh, interestingly, you, we were talking beforehand, and you uh, also have done some work for Laura Canfield with um, theater productions, so you yeah. clearly have done some more. And by the way, uh, I know you'll enjoy this. Uh, throughout the program, you'll see some examples of Sasha's uh, work on, our, on the screen behind me. So, uh, you know, the really interesting thing about photography is that everybody has a slightly different approach and what's interesting to one may not be interesting to another, but from a user standpoint, it's all interesting. So yeah. what is your favorite type of photography? What do you really like going after? Yeah, I really like fashion photography and product photography. And it's something that when it comes to what interests me creatively, that's what I really love. But at the same time, I do like the family photos and the weddings because I love genuine moments, which is something that you don't really get from posed uh, commercial work. Sure, sure. Interesting. So you are a Foxborough resident, not a native though, you're from somewhere else. Yeah, I grew up in England okay. originally. And you came here as a teenager? Yeah, so I was 14 when we moved here for my dad's job and we came from the UK straight to Foxborough, so I went to Foxborough High School. Okay, great. So Sasha is a photographer here in Foxborough. How did you get interested in photography? Did you join the photography club at school? or? So actually there weren't any photography classes or anything at mm -hmm. FHS when I was there. Uh, there are now, which I'm very excited about, but there wasn't actually really an opportunity to find a way to get interested in it apart from the senior video at the high school. Now I thought photography was dead. There's no, <laughs> there's no film anymore. Nobody has a Kodachrome. What kind of photography do you do? So, well, I do digital photography, but we did learn film photography when I was in college. So, really? Well, I went to a two-year program, okay. so it wasn't 
a, a university, but I went to like a technical school that's specifically for, for photography and we did film there. So I do a mixture of both. Okay. Well, I, I always tell people <laughs> that for the money, my best education was going to Community College of Allegheny County in Pittsburgh. It was a phenomenal experience. So good for you. The um, photography bug then bit you when you were younger. And yeah. did you always know this is something you want to get into or is it kind of just fallen into your lap? So originally I was interested in video and I was actually making a lot of videos for a YouTube channel that I had that I do would still hate. Have it? I do, but I would hate for people to go and look at it. You know now we're all gonna go so find it now. We're gonna go start looking, Googling yeah. it up. It was really bad because I was 13 and I had no idea that those things would embarrass me now as a 23 year old. But it, that was kind of how I got interested mm -hmm. and I had seen a lot of people doing the senior video since I was a freshman in high school and I knew that that was what I wanted to do when I okay. was a senior. So well, I... Well, good for you for capturing your dream then. Yeah, so I did the senior video. Not everybody can do that, so good for you. It was really cool and it was fun to watch all of the students in my class watch it and laugh at the things I had spent all year working on and that was kind of the bug that I got was like making other people happy with my work. Mm -hmm. That's like... It's the coolest feeling to see people enjoying something you work so hard at. So that's kind of how I got interested, but I wasn't certain that that was what I wanted to do straight away. So mm -hmm. I took a year off after high school and I went back to England, I shadowed a fashion photographer, and then I kind of just knew from there that that was what that's I wanted, what wanted to, to do. Now, I would have to think that there is a lot of pressure to get it right, because when you're Doing photography work, not only is there a competition from other photographers who I would imagine to take your job, but uh, more importantly, time is money. And I, I've seen, you've seen it in movies, we've heard about it with, with photo shoots, but when all of that, particularly working for a larger firm, as I, I think you do, there has to be some significant pressure to get it right. Yeah. How, do you, how have you gotten to that point? I think you kind of have to just have faith in yourself to get it right mm -hmm. and know that if you don't, then there's good, that you can make it right. There, There's always gonna be somebody that isn't happy with something and I think that's the hardest part of being a business owner because sometimes you, you just have to accept that it might not be your fault but you have to say it is. Sure, sure. And that's the only way to make, to, you have to make people happy. If they're not happy, you have to fix it. And I think that's kind of what, what I've realized is that you just have to try your best and hope that your best is enough. Yeah, well, well good for you for doing that because now you get into weddings and you really only got one shot to get yeah. it right. Yeah. So good for you for doing that. Yeah. And uh, you like doing the weddings? I do, and I do have a backup for weddings because I bring a second photographer so that I make sure oh, that there's two angles of every shot to make sure that if I don't get the perfect shot, then my second photographer hopefully does. Clearly, uh, <laughs> Sasha Greenhouse Photography is a professional operation. It's, uh, that, that's. I didn't even realize that that was done. I don't remember seeing that ever. So, yeah. wow. So you can get a hold of Sasha at her website, www.sashagreenhalsh.com. You can uh, contact her at info at sashagreenhalsh.com, spelled with a G, not an H, Sasha Greenhalsh. Uh, also, her telephone number is 508-446-3099. Be a friend on Facebook and follow her on Instagram at Sasha G Phot Photo. Not photography, photo. Yeah, photo. So photography is your passion, you like doing it, but we had talked a little bit before and you mentioned giving a lot back to the community. So yeah. you're not a nonprofit organization, you're not a charity, yet you seem to have captured and embraced that whole community aspect. So let's talk about that for a bit. Yeah, sure. Um, I just really like to find ways to actively be involved in the community, even if it's not giving something back, but just being a voice in the community, I mm -hmm. think is really important so that people know about you and not just about the business. I just like to kind of have a personal touch to what I do. And the best way to do that, I think, is to give back. So I've done things like turning my sessions into a way to donate to another family. So when you purchase a session, that session gets given back to another family in need. And people in Foxborough have helped me find those families because it's not all, you don't always know the people that need help. Right. So that's been a really great thing that I was able to do this year for, for Christmas, and I'm hoping to do that again over the holidays. Isn't that interesting? Foxborough is a caring community, and it's uh, always uh, nice to meet one of the hidden gems who uh, help support uh, the community as a whole. So good for you for doing Thank that. Thank you. Now, when you say uh, support, so that would be you know, really a photo session that is for free to a family in need. Yeah, so the sessions are 30 minutes long, and so a family would purchase the 30-minute session, and then in turn, another family would get the same thing. Wow. 
yeah. That's very generous of you. And then I was also able to do, I helped with a booth at Founders Day that was to raise money for new cameras for the high school. And I believe they have now been able to get some new cameras for wow. the art department. Nice, and uh, Founders Day comes, so I, I don't ever presume, but with Founders Day being a major uh, opportunity to network, but also for the uh, nonprofits and the charitable organizations, yeah. I imagine you'll be doing something again this year for Founders Day. Yeah, I'm Day. hoping to do the same thing again. It Beautiful. was a photo booth, so people could come and take photos with a banner that the art students had actually painted, which was really cool. All right. Well, yeah. you can find Sasha at Founders Day, and you can also find Sasha at her website, www.sashagreenhouse.com. So uh, we had mentioned fundraisers, and that was a big fundraiser last year. Do you have any fundraisers that you're working on now? Yeah, um, I'm hoping to do the same thing with the holiday sessions again, but I am looking for something new for the beginning of the year because I'm not quite sure yet. You know, I'm trying to find something alt that would also be beneficial. Sometimes fundraisers find you. So yeah. what you're saying, if I'm interpreting this correctly, is that you are available for fundraising opportunities. Yeah. And if somebody, uh, an organization or an individual has a need and they think that photography could fit into it, you'd be a willing uh, vessel yeah. to create that fundraiser. De yeah, definitely. I would love to. Anything that can help families, something with photos that are going to be meaningful to people that can't always afford it, because I know it can be a large expense mm -hmm. for people who don't have the kind of money to put towards that. It is a surprisingly large expense, you're yeah. right. And, but but, but it's, it's a product, and, and yeah. you deserve to be paid and compensated for work of done. Course. So good yeah. for you for making that, yeah. you know, finding that price point where you can give back as well as yeah. make a living at it. And that's what was great about the sessions, because a family being able to purchase their session that helped me to have some kind of cost to it, but also to give back to somebody. So it was great to kind of collaborate with people within the community to make that happen. Well, yeah. what a good thing and what, yeah. what a nice person you are and what a wonderful opportunity it is for uh, people who might need a photographer, a professional photographer. Now, you just do weddings or you do other things? I, I kind of do everything at this point. I think in school we were kind of taught that you have to pick a niche and I think the, the industry is going so far away from that now because I really? think somebody comes to you and if they say you know a photographer they assume you kind of can do any kind of sure. photography and I want to be the kind of person that people can come to and say do you do this kind of photography this kind of photography and I can just say yes because I love all of it okay. and and right now that makes sense for me maybe eventually I'll find a niche but right now I just want to try it all so your love is fashion we have weddings and you do theater yeah. And everything in between. Yeah. Fantastic. So this is Sasha Greenhouse, and I'm going to give you the last word, of course, because okay. uh, you, you certainly have uh, much more to say than what I could even ask questions about, because <laughs> I'll be honest, uh, photography is not my area of knowledge. I don't know yeah. much about it. I'd love to learn more about it, such as when you do photography, is there, are there special things that we need to do as a family if we're coming to, to, take, you know, to hire you, or is it... Do you have a studio? Do we do it in the great outdoors? Do you come to my house? What's Most of the time it's outside and I try to tell families make your kids as comfortable as possible because if you bring them to a session outside and it's cold, they oh. always want them to be in a dress, but like if they're uncomfortable, they're gonna be crying. And... I, I, yeah, we all know about the crying <laughs> yeah. kids. So do you have a special way of dealing with kids who are crying? Um, Kind you, of. You yell at them sternly, right? <laughs> I mostly no? try to take them away by themselves because typically if they're on their own with a stranger too, they tend they can to behave. Sense, they can sense the, the, the tension when you get into a photo session too, yeah, can't they? they Isn't can. that interesting? Yeah, they can feel the pressure. <sighs> no pressure. No pressure here, here in Foxborough Central. Um, so Sasha, with your uh, experience, where do you see yourself going with your career? And the I, business? I would really love to own a studio space of my own sometime. That's kind of my big goal in the coming years is that I really want to make that happen. I don't know if it will be in Foxborough, but definitely somewhere nearby. So this is a real thing for you then? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. And you're still here in Foxborough. Yeah. So this is your home community. And yeah. for people who are looking to, uh, as they say, shop local, uh, there's no better way than shopping with Sasha Greenhouse for yeah. photography needs. Definitely. Outstanding. So I'm going to give you the last word. I'm going to run down your information again. And I hope you've enjoyed some of the photographs that you've been seeing. Uh, those are uh, just a Small sample of Sasha's great work. Uh, Sasha Greenhouse photographer. Uh, her email address is info at Sasha Greenhouse. That's G R E E N L H A L G H dot com. Our telephone number is 508 446 3099. You can check out her website, which has a lot of other photographs. 
Yeah. Examples, samples? Yeah, tons. Tons, I like that, tons. <laughs> at www.sashagreenhouse.com. Be a friend on Facebook, follow her on Instagram, at Sasha G Photo. So, always interested to hear about how people get into their lines of work. And you say that you took a year off and you fall, tell us about that experience in England. Yeah, it was. I, and I, I, you know, I, I say it because it's going home, but you're here and any time you leave here, that's going somewhere else. So yeah. Tell us about that. So my mom's friend is an art director for a, a shoe company and she was going on a shoot for that company with this photographer that they used. And she just was like, I was already in England seeing my family and she said, why don't you just stay for an extra week and come with us on this shoot and just to see what you think about it. Which turned into a year. Uh, kind of, it was a little bit longer, but I was able to kind of see what they do and see the way that a photo shoot is so much more than just the pictures. You don't just show up and take a picture? Exactly, and that's kind of, I had no idea about that. Mm -hmm. There was never anything in school that taught me that, so I think the coolest thing was that I got to see the real deal, and that was when I was like, this is where I want to be. On the job training is always yeah. uh, much more uh, to the point than, than book learning, right? Yeah, definitely. Interesting. Inter yeah. So with that, uh, say I had a, 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 a company, and, and how long would it take me to, I, I guess the question is, how difficult is it for me to set up a photo shoot with you? in my product or my company? Is it something where you'll take me through all the steps? Do I have to have things already in place? I guess it kind of depends on the situation. Um, I try to help everybody with whatever they need. So some, some companies will come to us and we'll be able to, like at the studio I work at, they'll come to us and we'll make a whole production plan for them and we'll produce the entire thing for them, mm -hmm. find the locations, the models, and all that kind of thing. But some companies like to do that part on their own, in which case we send the photographer, and the photographer okay. just does the work. When but they you get have there. experience with both ends of that, and yeah. you can handle their needs. Yeah. So essentially, if I'm looking for a photographer, you'd be the one to call, and you can take care of everything I need as far exactly. as getting set up. What I would yeah. need to have and from an infrastructure walking, standpoint. Yeah, walking through the steps. If some people okay. don't always understand things like copyright and things like that, so we're always oh, walking copyright. people through the yes. through the steps of those types of things. Excellent. Well, that's great to know, great to know. Uh, Sasha, it's been a pleasure having you. I'm going to give yeah. you the last word. Remind everybody that if you have a photogra photography, there's no such word, a <laughs> photography need, uh, Sasha might be the one that you would want to contact, particularly here in Foxborough or around Foxborough because she gives back to the community and really makes that investment back into us. So, Sasha, give us the last word. Yeah, well, just thank you so much for having me. And definitely, if anybody needs any help with anything, like a fundraiser, I would love to be considered and for them to reach out to me and let me know what it is. Fantastic. Sasha Greenhouse, thank you so much for thank being you. on the program. If you have a fundraising need, if you're an organization that's looking for a unique fundraiser and might have a need to hire a photographer to support you, Sasha would be a great choice here in Foxborough. We are running out of time, but before we do, I want to remind everybody that we here at Foxborough Cable Access work off the backs of our volunteers, and I'd like to give a special shout out to my volunteers, uh, Adam Taj, who's behind the camera, and Alex Malin, who is our wonderful, wonderful editor who's put these photographs uh, on the screen for you to enjoy from Sasha Greenhouse's good work. Paul Beck is behind the glass. Michael Weber is our executive director. Lauren Batar is the programmer who puts us on the air and makes sure that I've got great space so we can bring these programs to you here at Foxborough Central. We are out of time. You are having a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you again here at Foxborough Central. Take care.